42,000 tech workers were laid off through mid-September. Did you guys see this LinkedIn news article? Again, they are reporting on more layoffs, and it's not just tech startups. We're looking at big companies now. Meta, Google, FedEx, Peloton announced its fourth round of layoffs earlier this month. So conflicting what's going on. Yes, a lot of people are getting laid off, but jobless claims are down. I remember in 08 when a lot of people were getting laid off and it was extremely hard to find a job. I saw the recent data and it was 1.7 jobs for everybody that is unemployed, meaning that you nearly have two options if you are unemployed. Now that data only includes people who are actively job searching and doesn't include people who have given up altogether. This should be good news for us though. Even though these companies are putting hiring freezes on and potentially laying off people, I would much rather be in a situation of being laid off and knowing that there's plenty of jobs out there than getting laid off and knowing that there's no jobs out there. I see this as a big correction. A year ago, everybody was looking to grow, double in size, triple in size. Pretty much every client I was talking to had crazy growth expectations, and it just wasn't feasible. So how does this impact you in your current job? Well, my advice is to be actively networking and building relationships within the industry that you're in. Then if layoffs happen, you have people that you can reach out to quickly. Networking is easier than ever. You don't need to rely on in-person events. You can join Discord channels for marketers, salespeople, engineers, and you can build strong relationships in those groups. I would also be working on my LinkedIn profile and my resume and thinking about what types of positions you'd be most interested in if you get the dreaded layoff call. We are going to continue to see these LinkedIn news headlines. I will keep you up to date. Remember, you can see past news episodes on the playlist attached to this video. And remember to follow for more LinkedIn news, recruiting advice, and career advice.